In the previous video, we saw five phases of accumulation trading range. In this video, we will see what are the events in this accumulation trading range. That's basically we will see all the key events. Understanding and reading this event becomes very necessary for us to take our decisions, further decisions, to understand the intention of the operators. So the this particular accumulation trading range, as we saw, is divided into five phases. In first phase where the real change of character happens there are four important events the first event is preliminary support that's basically the trend is getting exhausted here so knowing knowing this the operator tries to move his final move that's basically he tries to do a climatic action so in that is the next event so basically what happens is this climatic action would be like a climax of all the action that's like a very big action and it literally stops the trend and then what happens is suddenly the price goes up uh, and this particular action where suddenly the price goes up is called automatic rally and automatic rally is a very interesting concept absorbed by Jesse Livermore too and from automatic rally there is again a secondary test which comes down that's basically it's come down near to the climatic option or sometimes it's uh, below it or above it also but this particular event is called secondary test so this four event combined together is the first phase that's like phase a then then comes the second phase second phase is where the cause of the effect is built so here what actually happens is the operator goes up down to check what is the buying behavior what is the buyers of retail traders like us or other small institutions so when they go up the particular point on top is called up thrust and when they go down that bottom point is called spring and if at all it goes further climatically down it is called uh, terminal shakeout uh, once we are uh, looking at how to actually trade this all zone in detail at that point of time, we will try to learn this point in much more detail. So currently, we just need to understand once the uptrust and spring is tested, uh, the price comes into an equilibrium state where the operator builds his position looking at the supply of like looking at the uh, quality of supply at demand at uh, like at the uptrust and at the spring and he builds the cost. And uh, here is where the creek is also formed. Creek is a place that is basically that is a resistance place. Above it uh, all would be a uh, sign of strength. Then comes the third phase that is like phase C where, uh, where the operator takes the point. If at all he wants to go up in accumulation phase, ideally post accumulation he accepts the price to go up. So what happens is the operator takes the point to, to the lowest point where he literally shakes out all the retail traders he uh, he gives a spring kind of action a spring on the terminal shakeout which happens in the phase uh, c that is the test phase then comes the phase d where there is a sign of strength visible the buying waves are bigger here the selling waves are shorter here and this gives us a clear sign that the uh, the next trend is going to be up then comes the fourth, uh, let's like fifth phase, phase D, where the clear breakout happens. And once the breakout happens, it comes to retest. When it comes to retest, there is a concept of absorption which is visible, or else it forms a small sign of strength pattern and it goes up, or else it directly goes up. It is a direct breakout. So the com this all events are very much important for us to recognize and uh, understand in detail, read in detail with the help of volume which we would be studying in the coming uh, videos and this will uh, give us a very good edge over other traders. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.